Hello Vinyl community! Not long ago I have made a mix for Mixcloud that included only music from North Africa, from the Sahara or the Sahel. And uh, before I put the records back on the shelf I thought I will show some of them. Well, the first one is um, quite amazing. Um, this came out on Ostinato Records and it's called Sweet as Broken Dates, Lost Somali Tapes. Um, that's a selection that came out probably two years ago and uh, this is uh, what you need if you want to uh, dig into the music of Somalia, particularly the music of the late 60s and early 70s, but even into the 80s. Um, this is a quite uh, well done compilation with a lot of liner notes, as you can see. Um, giving you a lot of insight into the world of Somali music. Um, it's a double album, so um, you get uh, a lot of music here. Um, normally I'm not the guy that is buying compilations, so uh, in my record collection there are not that many compilations. and. Um, but this world is something completely different. I love those compilations because here everything is about curation. So um, most of this material I would never be able to obtain. And a lot of this stuff uh, was released probably on tapes only or on, on 7 inches. And uh, it would be very very difficult uh, to uh, acquire all this music. Well the other thing is that uh, once uh, this kind of a compilation is being produced, uh, there is a certain um, well uh, remastering going on, which uh, can be very useful, particularly with this kind of material, um, where the quality can be sometimes okay and sometimes not so good. Um, this double album also includes uh, this beautiful huge booklet which has even more pictures and text and uh, I mean once you are through with this you should be basically an expert for uh, the music of Somalia. Well it's it's like a time capsule to a different era. I mean uh, a country like Somalia has massively changed in the last decades and uh, there's been civil war. So um, it's kind of a uh, music from a different age and uh, something uh, you wouldn't get in contact that easily. Now uh, one band is um, featured prominently here and that's the Durdur -Dur band. And the Durdur -Dur band was uh, one of the most uh, popular bands in Somalia back in the day, in the 80s. So I have here this wonderful uh, triple album that came out on Analog Africa not long ago. And um, yeah, you get here the wonderful uh, selection of uh, Durdus music. And it's a pretty cool band. I mean, you have to imagine the sound to be um, a quite uh, beautiful blend of, uh, of, uh, of the local musical flavor combined with the kind of a funky, funky vibe. Um, so, uh, this is a very nice uh, listen and um, also this is a band that has uh, occasionally changed the singers. Uh, so some songs are sung by a male singer, some songs are performed by a female singer. It's quite an interesting album and uh, again this is some beautiful curation coming with liner notes and uh, picture material. So um, quite a great production this one here. Now uh, let's move from Somalia to the Sudan. Um, this is uh, quite a nice discovery. Again, this came out on Ostinato. This is uh, Abu Obaida Hassan in Istanbul. And this album is called The Shagia Sound of Sudan. And uh, this is uh, quite an interesting discovery. Um, Abu Obaida Hassan was a musician that uh, has basically kind of formed his own musical style with his band and was quite popular back in the day. 
um, but uh, seem to be rather forgotten at this point in time, particularly outside of Sudan. So uh, this is another example of uh, tracking down of lost music. So this comes with a nice article written by a guy called Wick Sohoni that went to Sudan and was basically looking for Abu Abaida Hassan and uh, uh, because uh, he didn't know if he's still alive or where he lives etc so this is kind of uh, the story of his of his search and uh, no spoiler warning so I will not tell you if he found him or not but as you can see it's again beautifully done and it's a pretty good example of good mastering um, and uh, good curation of uh, material that otherwise would probably be lost. So, um, I mean, ironically, this is probably the first um, solid uh, album by Abu Obaida Hassan, because uh, back in the day his music was probably mostly played live or released on tapes. Maybe there are some seven inches, I can imagine, or all kind of tapes. So um, that's what this makes so valuable. And, and and a great joy just to be part of this discovery. So uh, another great release on Ostinato Records. Um, certainly not the last one I will obtain. Now I've used one track uh, <laughs> from this record. I've shown this one already a while ago. I can remember this. This is Lama Mali. This is basically Mathieu Chedid and a lot of musicians from Mali. And um, so uh, obviously I took uh, Balde Bamako, which was a bit of a hit, like two or three years ago, I think. And uh, it was quite fitting for my mix. So this is Nora Mint Seymali and her album Arbina. This is music from Mauritania. And uh, I've used the title track uh, in my mix. But I think I've shown this record before. Um... As I did with this one, <laughs> this is Fatumata Diawara and Fanfo, her second album, and uh, quite a beautiful production by Mathieu Chedid. And uh, yeah, I have used the track Neg Neg uh, in my mix, and uh, quite a beautiful song. So uh, have a listen. Of course, I will uh, put a link below the video so uh, you can uh, uh, check check out yourself how all these records kind of sound. And finally, I took one track from the Tunisian singer Amel and uh, her album Anson. So this was my little expedition into the music of North Africa. Of course, there are much more records uh, in the mix I talked about, but uh, I didn't want to show all of it because most of the records I think I've shown before. And uh, so this mostly included just uh, the stuff that I purchased lately in the last month. So... Um, Keep it spinning and have a nice day.